An estimated 39% of all households in the Orlando metropolitan area are renters. That's from the National Low Income Housing Coalition's just released out of reach annual report. Right now, the University of Florida estimated in 2020 that almost 70,000 renter households in Orlando and their surrounding area earning 50% of the area median income or less are paying more than 50% of their income on their housing. That is not sustainable. Shannon Nasworth is president and CEO of Ability Housing, whose mission is to build strong communities where everyone has a home. She helped me break down the latest from the Out of Reach report. An Orlando area worker making minimum wage would need to work 117 hours a week, nearly three full-time jobs, to afford a two-bedroom rental at fair market rent, which is just over $1,300. If they have children, we're talking three to four full-time jobs at minimum wage, and obviously that is not something Something a single parent can do. Housing costs are just going up so much faster than wages. The report also says you would need to make $25 an hour for a two bedroom rental at fair market rent, nearly three times the minimum wage of $8.65. So as the number of people move to the area, the pressures on the low income workforce is going to get even worse. We have been making investments, the city, the counties have all been making investments Unfortunately, we really just need to double down and do more. Is the help coming fast enough? No, unfortunately it's not. The need has been growing for decades and we just did not address it fast enough. And so we've all got to work together to figure out how we create more opportunities to create housing that is affordable. I'm Gail Pascal brown West 2 News. Representative